is that everybody's come out and uh, at least feels connected to what we've accomplished here. And it all started just by doing what, what we're doing tonight, just getting out on these group rides, pushing each other. Hopefully the older riders take those younger riders that need to learn how to race and ride, take them under your shoulder, give them the, the tools necessary as far as training wise, what you know, get them to the people that can help them if you can't yourself. Those people that are starting, be open to criticism and learning how to ride in a group and, and the etiquette of everything. And don't take it as a, as a jab. It keeps it safer, basically, is what I'm trying to say, by learning how to ride with each other and, and uh, protecting each other's space. This group of people that we're talking to right here is probably the healthiest. So know that people are watching what you're doing and stay consistent with it and inspire them to get out and maybe lose that 10 pounds, 20 pounds or more. Uh, and it's completely possible on a bike like this, okay? I've been an Arizona native now, born and raised here. And it's pretty amazing to see everyone come out and support us and all the messages we get on Facebook and texts. And after nationals, I had to turn off my phone and yeah, sorry, couldn't but... check anything. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was amazing how much, just like, how many people follow us and watch us race. And like, you guys have been able to see the progression throughout the years. and. Uh, yeah, it's cool. I mean, this is what makes the cycling community so awesome. Having guys coming out and on a Tuesday night coming out to ride circles. And like, you know, that's where it starts. Eric's right. Like, this is where, uh, you know, I fell in love with it. It's just going out and riding with friends and family in Prescott and wanted to see how far I could take it. Still, still have uh, room to grow. <laughs>